welcome for today's new video. So I have actually three sessions uh, today. I'm gonna first start off with a cake smash session, then it's going to be a sitter session, and then I have a teen model coming here to do some portraits here in the studio, some more like serious portraits. Um, and if there is already blossom outside, we're gonna go maybe outside as well and take some photos in between the blossom trees. But I have to check it out after the second shoot to see what the trees are doing today. First, you can see the setup for the cake smash. Here you see the beautiful cake on the stand with just a little bit of decor around it, but um, keeping it clean and simple and kind of cool looking. Little marshmallows on top of the cake. And we're gonna do the portrait photos here. I think that's really cool as well, because the mom wanted to have something like more cool looking for the boy. Um, so we're gonna do the portrait photos here. So yeah, no newborns today. And for the teen model, I still have the really cool dresses that we're gonna try on. Um, so yeah. So I think the weather is pretty nice today as well. Uh, and the model, the teen model is coming at 3.30 and there's going to be like a hair and makeup artist coming as well. So here we have the clothing for a little boy. It's a little bit of everything. It's all kind of like around the size for like a nine month old uh, to one year old baby. So the mom can choose what she likes. I have some shorts as well underneath. Um, and then here I have a decor. This is actually going to be the last one. We're going to go back in time. No, this is going to be the third decor. I love the flocati with the green backdrop. Here, I really always like these photos a lot with the dark wood. We're going to start with this decor. So it's just creamy. It's very neutral. So yeah, my shutter speed is always 1 slash 200. My aperture is around 3.2, sometimes 3.5, depending on how much the baby's moving around. And uh, my ISO will match. So sometimes it's 640 on the dark wood. It might be like 500 or even 400, um, depending on how much light I want to have in the image. Photographing with the Nikon D750 and the 24 to 70 millimeter lens, uh, aperture 2.8. Yeah, I'm ready, waiting for the little boy. the sitter session with the little boy and uh, I could film so that was really cute and he was very cute so um, yeah I'm gonna head over to the blossom trees right now to check out uh, if they are already looking very pretty uh, it's a seven minutes drive from the studio so if it is already pretty we can start here this afternoon taking the photos with the teen model and then head over to the trees if they're not pretty yet we'll just stay here and do some indoor portraits. Um, so excited to work with a makeup artist for the first time. So I'll keep you uh, updated. Okay, so I'm here and as you can see, the trees are looking beautiful. The only thing is, is that it's quite busy. There are people everywhere photographing. You have cars and houses on this side. And the blossom is still pretty high, so you cannot really place your model 
in between the blossom uh, but it still looks beautiful okay so i'm currently walking in the same area as where the studio is it's actually just crossing three streets and we're there so when we drive it should be less than three minutes and they also have blossom trees uh, but there's like no one here not that many trees either but look so this is what it looks like love the sign so yeah we step in a little bit there's no sign so this is what it looks like so yeah less pretty but also there's absolutely no one here and it's way closer to the studio so this might be an option as well it's three uh, now around three ish um i'm gonna throw on this dark brown almost like a velvety backdrop material i don't know if it comes across on video um i'll put the link to this backdrop in the description i'll put the link to the other backdrop we're using in the description as well uh, not that it matters that much because I will put a digital overlay on the backdrop so you don't really see the backdrop anymore. So first I'm going to throw on this one. So yeah, with this uh, fabric backdrop it does show some wrinkles but that's okay because I'm kind of going for this like painterly look. I'm going to get the dresses ready. model is here I'm going to introduce her to you in a second and we have the makeup artist who is doing her hair she's going to make like a fishtail braid but then like a little bit more messy I'm going to insert my mood board so you can see which style we're going for uh, and I have the two backdrops ready so the lighter one and the darker one and some dresses ready uh, that we're going to use so I'm super excited so here we have Tess, this is the teen model. I'm going to link her Instagram as well. Follow her and check her out. She's doing amazing work already, being only 14 years old. She has a beautiful face. So we just finished doing her makeup and now Dominique is doing her hair. So we're going for the fish tail. Um, so it's already looking really beautiful. And here in the back you can see the secondhand dress which i bought in the thrift store for only 13 euros and 50 cents it's actually like almost like a like a wedding dress <laughs> and i have another uh, lace dress that we're going to use maybe i have the little couch from mate.com that we can use for some portraits of her sitting down and today i'm again using the godox strobe <laughs> so here we have the godox ad 400 pro and the photos with the lighter background, I'm going to use a beauty disc. And then for the darker background, I'm going to use this big softbox uh, with the two diffusers on there.
Okay, so we're now changing her hair up and we're going for a big bun on the side um, to make it look a little bit different, like more avant-garde. <laughs> Uh, and she's wearing a lace top now, so it's going to be, again, her face most of the time, just to frame her face. It's looking beautiful. And um, yeah, we're going to start with a dark background again, so just with the soft box. Um, and then later on we're going to go to the lighter background and then using the beauty disc. So my shutter speed is the same. It's the same with all the sessions here in the studio. It's one slash 200. As far as aperture, I have it on 4.5 now. I could shoot with a larger aperture of, with for example, 3.2 or 3.5. Um, I might do that later. It doesn't really matter that much because we don't have a blurry background, but I wanna have her in focus uh, and sharp and with both eyes. Um, and then my ISO for now is 250 on the darker background and on the lighter background, I'll put it uh, with the photo as well to show you the settings. we're outside right now you can see the blossom in the trees uh, we're gonna take a few last photos here so yeah you can see there are houses on both sides but with the 105 Sigma art lens uh, you can really blur the background when photographing with an aperture of 1.4 or 1.8 so I'm gonna go for that to see if I can play a little bit with the sunshine the blossom trees are quite high so I cannot really place her in between the blossom but I think it's still going to be nice um, for like the end of the shoot Seriously, I could not be happier. It was such a great shoot, the last shoot. Um, so yeah, it was wonderful to photograph Tess. She is so beautiful and she has this beautiful model look. Um, like one second she would be smiling and then she would just like pull her face straight and like look at me and it would just be so amazing. If you can do that when you're 14, you have a career ahead of you if you want of course uh, because she is an amazing model so beautiful and just very focused very yeah concentrated very serious and just so easy to work with um i am bouncing right now i have so much energy i got so much energy from this shoot please like subscribe leave a comment check out the instagram account of the makeup artist as well she did three looks so fast so professional and so beautiful uh she was really just like 
thinking along as well like to keep it natural to keep it soft uh, very great to work with um, so both the model the makeup artist and me we are open to traveling to other countries to do shoots there um, you can book us as a team if you want no it was just so great I am super super happy that these people wanted to work with me I feel so blessed so yeah thank you so much for watching please follow Tess on Instagram follow the makeup artist Dominique on Instagram uh, and me as well if you want to and then it will be great so thank you so much for watching um, please like subscribe leave a comment and then I'd love to read your comments and then um, yeah you can see me in my next video thank you bye bye